Morning. All right. Well, hey, everybody. Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. What we're going to be talking about today is this little RDA guy right here. This comes from Matt. Suck my mod. Watofo. This is the Nudge RDA. And I got to be real honest. I've been having a great time with this RDA. In my experience, it's been a very flavorful, like cloud chasing RDA, which I'm surprised at Matt for releasing something so cloud chasey. But in order to get to know this atomizer just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close as we always do. That's right. Quick, short, upy, closey time. Go. <clears throat> All right. Yeehaw. Well, this is the Nudge RDA. Look at this little RDA. Just being a little RDA. Taking a look at that 510 pin on there. Yeah. I mean, that is uh, definitely sticking out past the threads. I feel like if you know what you're doing, you could use this on a hybrid mod. 810 compatible on top. The whole barrel of it is aluminum. The deck is machined out of stainless steel. Your aluminum top cap is held on your deck by two O-rings right here. Taking a look at that really interesting nudge deck. Uh, Matt did a great video for this already, but essentially your leads are going to go from here, this screw, to this screw, and then from this screw to this screw. First looking at this, it, it looks crazy. It looks crazy confusing, but it's actually a lot simpler to build than you think it is. And if you kind of look through the airflow right there in the middle of the center post is a hole for squonking. That's where your juice is going to come out of. You can kind of see that hole again right there in the middle of this little house. I think this part in the middle, this little square and the roof, it, it looks like a little house to me. Anyway, yeah, what we're going to do is just throw a quick build on here. I just want to show you two different things real fast. I'm going to be using some MTurk Alien coils because I know he wraps his coils around a two and a half millimeter and two and a half millimeter is about as big as you would want to go inside this deck. And when you're wrapping your coils or if you buy some from any of the builders, you have to add an extra leg to it. MTurk Aliens come out of their container kind of looking like this. So what I do is I just add, I just add an extra leg so that my, so that my leads are going in the opposite directions. And I also kind of want to show you real quick, these coils are wrapped clock Clockwise. MTurk always wraps his coils clockwise. And if you're using clockwise wrapped coils, when you set this in here, and it's real easy to do, it's a little easier to do when you don't have a giant camera in front of your face. And I'm not going to screw these down, but you can set this in here and you can see with a clockwise wrap, your coil is going to be low and your leads are going to come off the top into little posts right here. So that when you look through your airflow, you're going to see your coil right there. Alternatively, using a coil turd stick, I wrapped a counterclockwise two millimeter fuse clapton. And if you wrap counterclockwise and you set your coil in here, your leads are going to be coming off the bottom and going into the post holes. And then when you look through the airflow, your coil is going to be substantially higher set up. I've tried both configurations in this RDA, and I honestly like the clockwise wrap a little bit better. I like having my coils right in front of that airflow. I think it gives me better flavor. So anyway, yeah, I'm just going to install some quick MTurk Aliens in this. It's honestly really easy to install coils on here, as long as your screws are backed all the way out. If you're screw is down a little bit and it's kind of coming into that little mouth right there, you're going to have a hard time slipping your coils in. So just make sure that your screw is backed all the way out, as far out as it can go without actually falling out. It's going to make your install go a lot smoother. Kind of just set your coil down and you push it into place. This lead is going to go right into that hole right there. This lead's going to go right into that hole right there and you just tighten them down. One coil in, leads are clipped. The second one is in and the leads are clipped and when you're screwing down these screw holes it's a fairly good idea to leave whatever wrapping tool you're using whether that be a screwdriver or a graduated wrapping tool like this just leave it in there he gave us plenty of room to leave your tool in there just leave your tool in there because when you're screwing these down they have the tendency to sometimes twist a little bit. It kind of wanna, kind of wants to push your wire around a little bit. So if you leave whatever wrapping tool you're using in there, it's gonna save you some headache later on when you try to screw these down and your coil goes all bleh and moves around. So our only mission now is to get these glowing evenly, wick it, and juice it. <laughs> We got it built, we got it wicked, and haha, <laughs> the vapors.
<laughs> so yeah, the build deck, it's a little weird on this RDA. There is a learning curve to this build deck. And because of the way the build deck was designed, it's not as versatile as some other RDAs out there. Two millimeter to two and a half millimeter maximum. That's the maximum wire that you're fitting in here. As you saw in the uppy closey portion, I used MTurk Aliens because I know he wraps his around a two and a half millimeter and then you just have to add the extra leg. You drop them in, they slide in, and it's really actually kind of easy. It's kind of easy once you figure out the deck. The Nudge is a fairly low pro atomizer, meaning it's a little bit shorter, which means it's gonna give you really great flavor. And it gives me really great flavor, but one thing that it also gives me that I really love is copious amounts of airflow. The default wide open airflow on this Nudge RDA is a little bit too much even for me. Full open, it's just a pure cloud chasing atomizer. So honestly, what I like to do is just close the airflow down just a little bit, about halfway, honestly. And the best way to adjust the airflow on this is to rotate it counterclockwise. If you rotate it clockwise, you start looking at where you clipped your leads and the other side of the deck. But if you rotate it counterclockwise, you have a nice flat surface there for airflow adjustment. The flavor on this atomizer is good anyway. Even at full open, I get great flavor. But when you close it down a little bit, it makes that airflow a little bit more restricted and actually ups the flavor even a little bit more. The Nudge also comes with a squonk pin that you can install. I've run it in squonker mode. It works great on a squonker. And now this is the first time I'm using it in dripper mode. And I love, love having the ability. You guys know me. I love having the ability to just bleh my juice through the center. And this is an RDA that you can absolutely bleh your juice through the middle. I'm truly and honestly surprised how much I like this atomizer. I did not have high hopes for this atomizer, mostly because I saw that deck and I went, okay. And then I heard some other people kind of talking about how difficult the deck was to build on. But in my experiences, honestly, with this RDA, once you learn the deck, it's easy to just drop your coils in and slide them over and screw down those screws. What I would love to see is like a big old 25 millimeter version of this atomizer, maybe with a little bit more room in there so I could fit some three millimeter, three and a half millimeter coils in there. And that might just be wishful thinking because I get the feeling that Matt designed this atomizer for a specific purpose. And I believe that purpose to be flavor. I love, I love the flavor that I get from this atomizer, even with the airflow full open. The flavor is just stellar. This is filled up with anarchist pink lemonade. This is a delicious juice and it tastes fucking delicious in this atomizer. Now you're not really even going to need your vape budget hands for this atomizer. Clicking around the internet, I found it anywhere from $35 to $37. And for $37, you're getting a very well-constructed atomizer. The top cap is aluminum, but the O-rings on the bottom feel nice and snappy, and they hold your top cap on real well. I truly and honestly don't have any major gripes with this atomizer. I just really like the vape I get from it. This isn't really a gripe. It's just something to be aware of. When you're clipping your leads, you have to clip your leads as close close as you possibly can. If any little bits of wire are poking out past that screw, it's going to scratch on your top cap when you're pulling it on and off. So trim those leads nice and close, as close as you possibly can. You can avoid that sort of awful scraping sensation when you put your top cap on. And you know, it's always really difficult reviewing and critiquing something that someone you know made. If you say too many nice things about it, people go, oh, well, Matt's just your friend. And then if you say a lot of negative negative things about it. People are like, whoa, I feel bad for Matt. So to that, I'm going to say, Matt, I think you did a great job on this RDA. I really like using it. The flavor is fantastic. The airflow is plentiful and adjustable. I like using it as a dripper. I like using it as a squonker. I'm not absolutely in love with the deck, but at least it's something that's innovative, something that I haven't seen before. And once you get the hang of it, it's actually pretty easy to build on. So if we're going to play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and Take everything I have and I have nothing left to vape. Is the Nudge RDA something I would seek out and buy? Price of $35 compared with the vape experience that I'm getting from this? Yeah, I think this is something I would seek out and buy. Maybe not right away, but I'm having a great time with this RDA. I'm getting a great vape from it. And as much as I recklessly bleh my juice through the middle of this, and as much as I recklessly just squeeze squonk bottles, I haven't had any leaking out the bottom or leaking out the airflows. Airflows? 
those airflow holes. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. It is what it is. This is the Nudge RDA, designed by Suck My Mob, manufactured from Watofo. Price is around 35 bucks. It's a great little flavor banger RDA. Don't expect something insanely high end, but expect something that's gonna give you a really great vape once you get past the learning curve of the deck. Anyway, I will have links down in the description to where you can check it out if you are interested, but that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, yeah, let's keep on vaping. It's okay, I paused when I heard her barking. Sorry. It's okay. I'll just edit all the, I can just edit this out. It's no big deal.